Hi kids, Mr. Victor here. Today I'm going to read to you a story called The Lion and the Mouse. Be good listeners, okay? Once while a lion was sleeping, a little mouse ran up and down his back. Soon, the lion woke up. He put his big paw on the mouse. He opened his big jaws to swallow him. The mouse begged the lion to let him go. He promised to help the lion someday. The lion laughed at the thought of a little mouse helping a great lion, but he lifted his paw and he let the mouse go. Not long after, the mouse saw the lion tied to a tree. The lion had been trapped by some hunters. The little mouse went up to the great lion and he gnawed right through the ropes, and soon the lion was free. Wasn't I right? said the little mouse to the lion. Little friends can do great things. That was a bit of a short story. I'll read another one to you guys, okay? It's called Belling the Cat. Long ago, the mice had a meeting to talk about their enemy, the cat. What could they do about her? Some said this, and some said that. But at last, a young mouse got up and said he had an idea. The cat moves without making a sound, he said. That's why we're always in danger. And, he said, if we could hear her coming, it would be easy for us to run away. Now my idea is this. We will tie a bell around the cat's neck, then whenever she moves, we will hear her, and we can run away. The mice clapped and cheered until an old mouse got up and said, that is all very well, but which one of you is going to put the bell on the cat? And the mice looked at one another in silence. No one ever spoke of belling the cat. That's the end of that story. So kids, drink lots of water, wash your hands, and eat all the food on your plate later, okay? And please listen to your parents. Have a good rest of the day.